everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by if you're new here and if you're returning welcome back so today i want to talk about imitating the infrared cinematography look within adobe after effects without actually having an infrared sensor i've always loved this look i think it's something really special and i'll talk more about that at the end of the video but i never had the money to have an infrared a camera just for infrared photography because that's usually what you have to do you'd have to um just totally change the sensor and have a camera specifically only for infrared cinematography but why do that when you can just imitate it so that's what we'll be doing today so to begin let's take a look at what we'll be creating Okay, so here I am within Adobe After Effects, and I'm going to show you how we can imitate this look. So here I have my clip, and I just dragged it into a composition, nothing, nothing too hard. And what you're going to do first is you're just going to duplicate the clip, and then you're going to add, go to the Effects and Presets panel and add Invert. The next thing you're going to do is change the blending mode to Color. And if you don't have this, you just need to click Toggle Switch as a mode, and it will pop up. Next, what you have to do is go to effects and presets panel and enter channel mixer. So you add channel mixer and what you have to do is set your red red to zero, your red blue to 100, your blue red to 100, and your blue blue to zero. And there you have it. Basically, that's the infrared cinematography look. However, we still have to make adjustments. And essentially, we're gonna do this with the hue and saturation, which we're gonna grab from the effects and control panel. And in the hue and saturation tab, what we're essentially trying to achieve is you can add your personal preferences. So if you want to make it a little bit more blue, not that blue, but a little bit more maybe pink, just a deeper saturation or something like that, you can do that. It's up to you. I'm just going to leave it as it is. But one thing that I noticed that I don't like is how the trunk of the tree is now kind of a weird cyan and the soil isn't quite brown either. So what we want to do is go to the yellows and play with it until it looks right. So I dragged it down to about negative 26 and that looks a lot better. Um, and I'm going to go to cyan's and play around with this until the tree trunk looks a little bit more brown. Um, well, let's go to the yellows first so I can get a better idea. Okay, so I dragged down about 73, that looks much better. Go to signs. And maybe set it at also negative 80. Maybe negative 100. And just a little bit more for good measure. And that looks pretty good. So as you can see, that's how you can achieve the infrared cinematography look within Adobe After Effects. It's really simple and you can apply it to any clip and it's gonna look really great. So I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. Overall, I think this clip looks pretty great. I think we learned how to imitate the infrared cinematography look pretty well. However, I think it's important to talk about why you might wanna include this in your projects and what makes this effect so exciting. And to me, it's exciting because it's not some cheap editing gimmick. On the electromagnetic spectrum, there's a certain range of wavelengths that human, that human eye can perceive yet there are also lights that we can't see, and infrared light is one of those. So, in other words, these colors that we created in After Effects, they do exist, um, had we the eyes to see them. And I think that's pretty exciting. So, with that being said, I hope more people explore this look, even if it's just imitation, because it quite literally expands how we see the world, and it does it in a genuine way. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be posting more film related stuff and editing related stuff weekly. Thanks for watching.